One in five veterans has symptoms of a mental health disorder or cognitive impairment. According to the Bureau of Justice Statistics, in prison or in jail, that's about half of the veteran population. A program offered in Bell County and Fort Hood now aims to keep those vets out of the justice system. But as Fox 44's Noelle Mendoza shows us, not all veterans can actually use the program. There's one big requirement to be eligible for the program. A veteran must have a mental health issue that relates to his or her military service or criminal offense. Right now, more than 180,000 U.S. veterans are locked up. 99% of our soldiers, sailors and Marines, should not be in the penal system. It's just something that got away from them. If we can fix them, fine. And Frank Minoski wants help doing that. If there's a medical nexus, if they if they've got if they already got TBI in their records, if they got PTSD in their records, then it's pretty much a wash that they're, they're going to come in. If left untreated, mental health issues can lead a veteran to unemployment, homelessness, and arrest. What I've been seeing all along is DWIs, substance abuse, and anger management. We've been able to tie all those back to the military. That's where this program comes in to provide an alternative to incarceration. It's a way of giving back, you know. Uh, like I said, all veterans have struggles, even I do. But like I said, that's our way of giving back. William Barker is a longtime mentor. He was in the military for 23 years and loves helping other veterans. It's nothing for us. It's all volunteer. We don't get paid enough. This is our time that we've been with the veterans. Offering them not only treatment, but also connecting them to benefits they earned, like health, education, and disability. And now that they've been in these in these uh, group sessions and these mandatory sessions that they go to the VA, they finally realize they have an issue, how to deal with it. All to give veterans with mental health issues the opportunity to get their life back on track. Keeps these soldiers from having bad things on their records. And return them to the life they fought so hard to protect. We talk about leave no soldier behind. Well, if this soldier for life is actually soldier for life, well, they're still soldiers even though they're out. The veteran court program has a 98% success rate across the country. In Fort Hood, Noelle Mendoza, Fox 44 News.